in Melbourne and we're gonna go explore. So I got this skirt. It's made out of plants and it has shorts underneath. We got my tennis shoes on. I got this top at Kukai. I got a new curling iron and let's go. <laughs> I trained a client this morning so we're starting the day at like around 10 a.m. Um, I'm gonna go down to the beach areas, walk over there, explore that a bit, and then let's see where we end up. I was walking this morning and I was waiting at this light. This mother and son started talking to me and they live in Bondi, but originally from the UK. We ended up just having the best conversation, all three of us, and it really reminded me to cherish those small moments. Like, there's times it feels super lonely traveling alone, but then you have these like small little micro conversations and I'll probably never see them again, but it's those little moments that solo travel really special and it just kind of re-reminded me of how magical this can be. I feel grateful for those moments when I feel that overall loneliness. So I just wanted to share that with you guys and yeah, we're just gonna keep walking. So I'm on this street called Smith Street and it reminds me of the band The Smiths. Like all these little like vintage stores. I don't know how to explain it like stores like this. It reminds me of Long Beach. If you're from LA, you know Long Beach. It reminds me of Long Beach. through it. It is so good. I got tuna and grilled chicken. Honestly, if I lived here, I would eat here like every day. Like this is so good. <laughs> sushi, so much healthy food, cutest little coffee shops, vintage stores, furniture stores. I wish I could, if I lived here, it would be dangerous because I would go to all the furniture stores. I would have bought all the books in that bookstore. I told the owner of the bookstore that that's the best bookstore I've ever been to in my life. <laughs> he was like, surely that can't be true. But that bookstore just had every type of kind of book that I absolutely love and would love to have on my coffee table, but I can't carry all those books back to Thailand, sadly. So the only thing I got was these little travel therapy cards. It says to deepen and transform the experience of travel. And it's just to kind of like spark questions while you're traveling. So I thought it'd be fun to start to do this like once a day with you guys and on my Instagram too. So yeah, I am loving this area. It's absolutely incredible. There's so many like sustainable shops and yeah, it's just, this is a vibe. The park culture here is amazing. 
everyone is just having picnics everywhere, laying on blankets. I think something I really miss in Western society is being able to lay in a park and getting together and having little picnics and something. The park culture is just really incredible over here and you can tell like people really value being outside and I really appreciate that. I feel like that's something that's rare in the US and Thailand. <laughs> There is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown did this like business coaching program together and then stayed in touch on social media and then invited me to this dinner with these amazing ladies right here <laughs> and yeah now we're here now we're here and we all have a lifelong friendship because yes. i know she's not a crazy stalker <laughs> yeah. Love it. so yeah me back where i belong i want it all i had a feeling but the feeling is all gone You guys so we are doing a tour of the great ocean walk right here and i thought i would give you guys a little bit of history that i just learned so the history of the great ocean walk is that years ago after the great war the army people that came back you know obviously their mental health wasn't good and they didn't want to immediately send them to like a mental institution and so instead they decided to build this great wall and send all the army people to work on it and it was supposed to take three years but they actually didn't give them any uh, equipment to use so instead it took them like 13 years or so so basically all the ex-army workers were sent to build this wall and that's what became this great wall then the 12 apostles which we are entering right now became a tourist attraction basically and they just wanted something to name it they wanted to make this a tourist attraction since they knew a lot of people were coming here and so they ended up calling it the 12 apostles because australia is basically a christian com a mostly christian country and so they named it the 12 apostles because they didn't want to name it a silly name like i forgot what the name is but it's like pig they wanted to name it like pig or something originally so yeah now we're here i decided to book this tour to do this in one day so I'm going to take you guys along with me. Super windy here, but epic views. There's a lot of people, but it's definitely very beautiful. It reminds me a lot of like the California coast. If you've ever done the PCH drive from like Northern to Southern California or vice versa. But yeah, it's really beautiful. And even though it's technically summer here in Australia, it is freezing and super windy. So make sure you have a jacket.
We are currently walking around this area searching for wild koalas. <laughs> I really, really, really hope we see one, but it's not looking promising as of right now. <laughs> we found one! I can't tell you how special this moment was for me. My dad went to Australia when I was a little kid and I remember learning about koalas and kangaroos and they've just been my dream animal since a child. So seeing them in real life and especially in the wild it just was so special to me. So I highly recommend this tour that we did. We truly hit all the stops and every area was gorgeous. It might have not been the best weather that day, but it was still so incredible. These trees reminded me of the redwood trees in California. I know I keep comparing a lot of Australia to California, but there are so many similarities. And they took us to a local spot called George's and it was so good. We got some food there and then we headed back. I did get a little bit car sick on the way home. And yeah, I highly recommend the Great Ocean Road. If you can rent a car and do it and you have more time, I recommend that too. There were so many cute camping spots and this was everybody on the tour and our tour guide and the- <laughs> <laughs> Whether you can do one day like I did or longer, definitely add this to your Australia list.